All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Um, this is gonna be the One Piece chapter review. Now, eh, I got beef last week for people because oh, that, that that chapter sucked. Well, I will say, yeah, yeah. But this one, you know, this isn't get a four at all. Aside from the ending, this was just fodder. That's pretty much what this was. Except for, like, a few characters. Like, there was, um... And this is going to be chapter review of One Piece, chapter 707. Um, B Block. More like, Bitch Block! <laughs> you get my gist? Uh, or they might as well just call it F Block, because it was F for fodder. Um, the guy who looks like, I am the Eggman! Um... Dr. Eggman, the Gomara, he was basically, um, team, you know, it was nothing to say. It was like, there's really nothing to say about this chapter except for the ending. The ending and a few characters that caught my eye. A few that caught my eye. But I'm not really going to go into details what happened. They were just, just planning things. And we got, you know, the, Go the, the Gomara. Him and his, his, his king. His king has this ability where when he concentrates hard enough, his punches, like, obliterate everything in its path. So, yeah, he was explaining that. And, uh, he, he, D Dagama is, is basically a strategist. And he was doing the strategy of it. And he's, and, uh, his king says, I'm good to go. Just say the word, Dagama. You know, uh, Mr. Eggman. And we got... This guy who's helping them, Tank Lepanto, uh, going up against um, uh, Bellamy. You know, and he's taking. Yeah, it's getting fodderized. It's like, and they, and they, and we finally get to see. Uh, there is one thing I should mention. We finally get to see. Remember a couple of chapters ago, with Usopp's group and Law. And that guy was telling them not to go on the bridge because there were these fish that actually attacked the bridge. Well, we finally got to see what these fish look like. And yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty beast looking. They have horns on their head. Literally, horns. And I was like, damn! And they were going in with their horns and they would attack the combatants that would fly on the water. So either way, if you're inside the ring or outside the ring... You're pretty much fodderized. <laughs> that word, fodderized. And we see this other guy, eh, a little bunch of no names. You know, it's like, come on. But there was this one guy I want to mention. A fisherman. Now, I want to mention this guy because he caught my eye for some reason. And apparently, he knows Jim Bay well. Very well. And he has, you know, um,. You know, Fishman Karate, he used it against this one guy with a mallet. Um, and his name is, I believe, Fishman Jiu-Jitsu. He's a karate master. No, wait, wait, no, 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 that's not his name, not his name. My apologies. His actual name is 100th Dan Hack. Um, his, yeah, dear friend Jimbe. I fight on, and so on and so forth. So apparently he knows Jinbei well, considers him as a friend, you know, that whole thing. But like I said, the joy of this chapter? Fodder. Fodder, fodder, fodder. People just getting there, knocked the fuck out. A lot of no names, you know, that whole bit. And we see this one guy who's got like these, these legs, really long legs. Who does Jai Kwon Do martial artist? And I'm like, okay, his legs look like jelly and he's beating up everybody. And I'm like, alright. And now we see another guy. This other guy interests me. Ricky, a former gladiator who just wiped the floor with the other combatants. Um, and he says too slow and he beats the shit out of him. So he might be somebody that might come up later. In relation to the Straw Hats, in relation to maybe even Zorro. Who knows, maybe they'll go at it. But, you know, like I said, this chapter was, ugh, Three and a half out of five. I mean, what can I say? Except for the ending. The ending was boss. Oh. 
And we got a guy checking this guy out and saying that he reminded he, that guy, guy's name reminded him of something and so on and so forth. And we see Bartolo Mayu, Mayo just sitting there. And then we get to the ending. And the ending was pretty crazy. The ending was like, damn! It had me like, holy shit. Shit's about to go down next week. What's going to happen now? Um, and basically we have Cavendish. <laughs> Luffy calls him Cavity. <laughs> that was funny. He called him Cavity. And he's talk and he's basically talking to Luffy that uh, about the worst generation that he's he's getting all their their posters and stuff. And he says I'm definitely going to kill them. It's a tournament with a prize of such magnificence significant magnitude but I'm sure at least one of them would show up. And Luffy's saying how Burgess was wearing a mask. He probably, probably that's going to happen throughout the tournament. People are going to be wearing masks if they're from the worst generation. And then we see the guy. It's 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 that guy with the number 12 on his forehead. The old man. That was huge. And he's saying, oh, there's a wonderful view from this balcony, from, from the observation deck. It's quite a view. And... He is, this guy is freaking huge. He's freaking huge. And he looks down and he says, oh, by the way, how is Garpson doing lately? Straw Hat Luffy. Oh man, you know my gramps? And again, again, again this is like, ah! And then Luffy's like, crap! And he's, and then, and then he's saying, um... Basically, I was almost killed by Garpson long ago. Now I've decided I'll take it out on his grandson. And it says, this isn't looking good and in more than just one way. So, the ending gets a four. But the chapter? Three and a half. The end, to be honest with you, the ending saved. Yeah, it saved. It saved the fucking chapter. No questions asked. So, this is fucking awesome. Because now it's like, Damn! This guy was freaking huge. Huge. He dwarfed Luffy. I mean, this guy was like... He like almost... Because he's looking at the balcony outside. He... His head starts from like the top of the page. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... So... Yeah. Unfreaking believable. So, but, like I said before, freaking huge guy, knows who Luffy is, and now, oh my god, you know? So, we will have to see what happens next week with this. Well, actually, not next week. Yeah. No. We're not going to get a chapter next week. At least I don't think so. So. <coughs> but we'll see what happens. Um, seems like Luffy will have to figure out how to deal with this guy. Oh. Insane. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This was... Uh, this was a... Uh, a whatever chapter. It was... You know? Half of it was, was, was fodder. There wasn't really anything going on. And the ending, like I said before, the ending saved this chapter. Okay? So, um, yeah. That's about it. That was my brother. Um... And there's nothing else to report. It's ridiculous. Um, also, I want to... I know this is kind of weird to, to bring up. But I want to bring up what I saw at the beginning of this chapter. There was this color page of the crew on this these swings. On these swings. And they show Nami and Robin... I swear to God, Robin's fucking legs were fucking huge. 
Like, now I know why she's six feet tall. <laughs> you know, it's just, it was insane. I was, like, bugging out when I saw that shit. But, yeah, I just want to briefly talk about that one. That was, you know, in there. But, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah, this was, this was an all right chapter. It was just too much fodder. Too much ran random-ass fucking ni niggas. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, random niggas. I'm like, damn, what are these people, what are these guys? You know, I don't want to use the N-word there, but. Random niggas. I'm not going to put it as a title, though. It's just... Just random-ass guys who, you know, got, you know... The only guy, the only one, like I said before, the only person in this chapter that I looked at and said to myself, Oh, yeah, that's... Well, that's pretty interesting, that guy. And that guy was obviously, um... The Fishman. He was the only one that came out, and I said to myself, that's pretty interesting. But besides him, everyone was just fodderized characters, random-ass guys. Except for Bartolomeu and uh, Bellamy. Bellamy will use this spring attack to attack one guy, so yeah, there's that as well. But that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, this is Monkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Three and a half out of five was, you know, fodderized people, bandwagon-ass people. But the ending... The ending. And this guy is in Luffy's block. So, that's a problem. That's a really big problem for him now. Uh, and apparently, this guy's got Garp on his mind. That was the whole bit. He's got Garp on his mind. So, we'll see what happens. He's taking it all on Luffy now. Because Luffy is Garp's grandson. And the whole thing about that. So, yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, it's been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Probably a live stream around, it's 10.38 now. 11 p.m., 11.05. Around there. Give or take. I'll invite some few people. Have like a Q&A. Talk about a bunch of things. I might invite some female reviewers. Yeah. Because um, I'm going to do this. I had that last week, so I'll do it this week. Yeah, I know that. It's all I got for you now. And that. So yeah, this is Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Big ass old guy going after Luffy. Luffy's got to watch out. Watch out. Damn.